Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, source of all life and Lord of all creation, today I stand before you with a heart full of reverence and worship. You are the beginning and the end, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. You, Lord, uphold the universe with your infinite wisdom and guide our steps with your unconditional love. I acknowledge your sovereignty, O Father, and I praise you because you are worthy of all glory and honor. Lord, in your greatness, you form the mountains and calm the seas. You wrote the stars in the firmament and carved the destiny of every living being. Your majesty shines in the heavens, and your glory fills the earth. Today, I lift my hands in worship, not because I am worthy, but because I recognize your boundless grace and unfailing mercy. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. I will meditate on your glorious splendor and on your wonderful works. Psalm 145, 3-5. Heavenly Father, I exalt you with all my being, for in you I find refuge and strength. You are my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In your presence, my soul rejoices, and in your love, I find peace. Lord, as I reflect on the wonders you have created, I see your hand in every blooming flower, in every singing bird, in every sunrise that heralds a new day. You are the author of all that is good, and that is why I praise you with all my heart. I praise you, Lord not only for your mighty works, but also for your mercy that is renewed every morning, for your patience that never runs out, and for your unconditional love. Even in the face of my failures, you love me with eternal love and welcome me into your arms as a father welcomes his child. That is why I bow before you, acknowledging my smallness before your vastness. But I know that despite my insignificance, I am loved by you, that you hear me and sustain me, I come to you, Lord, with a heart full of praise and gratitude, ready to hand over all my worries, trusting that you are powerful enough to transform any situation. Lord, in the midst of life's battles, when fatigue and discouragement try to weigh me down, I cry out to you for protection. You are my shield, my fortress, and I fully trust in your ability to guard me from all evil. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart, Psalm 91, 4. O Father, cover me with your feathers, shelter me under your wings, for in you I find a safe refuge. I know that life's storms cannot reach me when I am in your presence, and that evil will not prevail against me, because you are my faithful guardian. Beloved Father, how many times have I experienced your protection in my life? When all seemed lost, when fear tried to take hold of my heart, you were there holding me, supporting me, guiding me along the right path. You are the God who protected me from the enemy's snares, who kept me from the traps of sin, who led me back to the path when I strayed. Therefore, I thank you, Lord, for all the times you have been my refuge and my fortress. Thank you, Father, for never abandoning me, for always being present, even when I didn't realize it. Thank you for your faithfulness, which is greater than any storm stronger than any adversity. I know that in you, I can trust completely because you are faithful and just. You are the God who never fails, and that is why I come to you now, seeking your protection once again. Lord, I ask you, guard me from the forces of evil that try to bring me down. Protect me from every attack of the enemy, from every arrow that flies by day, from every pestilence that stalks in the darkness, from every destruction that strikes at noonday. May your mighty hand be upon me. May your Holy Spirit guide and protect me. May your angels encamp around me, guarding me from all danger. Lord, I come before you with a heavy heart and a weary spirit. The battles I face daily have drained my strength and I feel overwhelmed, exhausted. The weight of responsibilities, concerns about the future, the challenges that arise each day. All of this has brought me to the limit of my strength. Father, I confess that many times I try to face these challenges alone, in my own strength, and that is why I feel this way, so tired. But now, I recognize that I cannot continue like this. I need you, Lord. I need your power, your strength, your rest. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31. O oh God, I wait on you. 
I trust that you will renew my strength, that you will make me soar on wings like eagles, that you will give me the ability to run and not grow weary, to walk and not be faint. Lord, help me to identify the causes of my exhaustion. Give me wisdom to understand what is draining my strength, discernment to avoid the enemy's traps, to keep away from me all that does not come from you. May I recognize the warning signs you send me, so that I may correct my path, adjust my priorities, and seek in you the renewal that I so desperately need. Father, I ask you renew my mind, my heart, my spirit. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. May I find rest in you, trust in you, hand over to you all my worries, knowing that you care for me. May I experience your rest, your relief, your renewal. Lord, I am here before you, crying out for a deep renewal. I need you to breathe new life into my spirit, to fill me with your grace, to renew me completely. I no longer want to walk in my own strength, but rather, I want to be sustained by you, guided by you, strengthened by you. O oh God, just as eagles renew their feathers to continue flying high, I ask you to renew everything in me that needs to be renewed. May you purify my heart, remove everything that does not please you, and make me a new creature, capable of living for your glory. Father, I cry out for a complete transformation, that my life may be a reflection of your glory, that I may walk in newness of life, filled with your Holy Spirit. May my mind be renewed, may my thoughts be aligned with yours, may my heart be filled with your love, may my words be instruments of peace and edification. Lord, I ask you, renew my strength, restore my soul, give me new vigor, a new passion for you. May I serve you with joy, with dedication, with enthusiasm. May I be an instrument in your hands, used for your glory, for the edification of your kingdom. May your Holy Spirit fill me anew, may your power manifest in me, and may I walk in victory, in renewal, in transformation. Father, I trust that you are my strength, my sustainer, my provider. When I am weak, it is then that I am strong, for it is in you that I find the strength that I do not have on my own. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 Lord, may your power rest upon me now, as I confess my total dependence on you. Strengthen me, guide me, and make it so that in all my struggles I may find victory in you. May I trust in you, Lord, in all circumstances, knowing that you are faithful, that you are powerful, that you are my God, in whom I can fully trust. Lord, I recognize that prayer is the key to opening the doors of heaven. It is the means by which my soul deeply connects with you. In this moment of prayer, I hand over to you all my worries, all my pains, all my fears. May your light shine upon me, illuminating the dark path that lies before me. May your light, O God, be my guide. In the midst of the darkness of fatigue and discouragement, may your presence be the flame that never goes out, the star that leads me to your safe refuge. Lord, I believe in the power of prayer. I believe that you hear every word, that you answer every plea, that you care about every detail of my life. O oh God, teach me to pray with fervor, to seek your face diligently, not to give up in prayer, but to persevere until I see your will fulfilled in my life. May I be a faithful intercessor who prays not only for myself, but for those around me, for those in need, for those also facing spiritual battles. Father, I know that trials are part of your plan to mold me into your image. They are instruments you use to strengthen my faith, to purify my heart, as it is written. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character, hope, Romans 5, 3 to 4. Lord, help me to persevere. Give me the strength to endure trials, to resist temptations, and to keep the faith, even when everything around me seems to be falling apart. May I see in every difficulty an opportunity for growth, for maturity, and for drawing closer to you. Beloved Father, I also trust in your perfect timing. I know that everything happens at the right time according to your plan. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Ecclesiastes 3.1 
Help me to trust in your timing, not to despair in the face of delays, but to wait with patience and faith, knowing that you are in control of all things. I remember the story of Joseph, who despite facing so many adversities, trusted in you and was exalted at the right time. Likewise, Lord, I want to trust in you, knowing that you have the best for me, and that in your time, all things work together for my good. Father, I cannot help but pray for those who are also weary, for those who are overwhelmed by life's struggles. I extend my plea on their behalf, asking that your Holy Spirit visit each of them, renewing their strength, bringing peace to their hearts, and hope to their spirits. May all those who are discouraged find in you the refuge they so desperately need. May you sustain them with your mighty hands, guide them in the paths of righteousness, and fill them with a new joy that comes only from you. Lord, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I thank you for your constant presence in my life, for your faithfulness that never fails, and for your grace that sustains me. I place my life in your hands, confident that you are the God who renews, who restores, who strengthens, and who leads me to green pastures. I close this prayer with a grateful and confident heart, knowing that in you I find everything I need. May the peace that surpasses all understanding guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.